Hello, welcome to Tevil's World Recipes. Today, we're gonna make chicken tinga. What? Tinga is a traditional dish from Mexico. You can make it out of chicken or beef and basically you shred it and put it in a sauce. It's super easy to make and it's really hard to mess up. It's delicious, so let's get cooking. The ingredients we're gonna need, three pounds of boneless chicken breast, one big onion, six Roma tomatoes, one seven ounce can of chipotles, four garlic cloves, three bay leaves, one teaspoon of thyme, one teaspoon of marjoram, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, four cups of water, salt to taste. We're gonna start by adding our chicken breast to our Instapot. We're gonna add half of the onion, the other half we'll use it later. We're gonna add our marjoram, our thyme, our garlic cloves, and our bay leaves. We're gonna cover it all with water. Average is four cups, but if you need a little bit more, just go ahead and do it. Just make sure everything is covered. And then we're gonna add a little bit of salt. We're gonna make this chicken stock that we can use for other recipes as well. We're gonna close our Instapot and we're gonna set it up for 25 minutes. As we wait for our chicken to finish cooking, it's a really good time for you to click on subscribe. That way you'll know when new videos are coming. We're uploading videos every week and we're trying to grow our channel. You can give us a like at the end of this video and we appreciate all your help. So now let's keep on cooking. After 25 minutes, we're gonna remove our chicken breasts from the stock. As you can see, it's falling apart just the way we wanted it. And using two forks, we're gonna pull all our chicken. Once all our chicken is pulled, we're gonna set it to the side. We're gonna add our Roma tomatoes to a pot with water. And we're gonna boil them for about 10 minutes to make sure our tomatoes are cooked. Once they're ready, we're gonna add them to the blender. Also to the blender, we're gonna add the onion we had on our chicken stock. And we're also gonna get our garlic cloves. They're a little bit tricky to fish, but I got them. We're gonna add a little bit of the chicken stock as well, so we can make our sauce. To the sauce, I'm gonna add two chipotle peppers and a little bit of the adobo sauce. If you don't like it that spicy, you can use less or if you like it spicier, you can use more. We're gonna blend this for a few minutes. And now our sauce is ready to go. We're gonna start by heating up a skillet at medium high heat and we're gonna add some vegetable oil, about three tablespoons. Once our oil is hot, then we're gonna add our onions. We're gonna cook our onions until they soften and turn a little bit brown. It's gonna take about five minutes.
Once our onions are ready, then we're gonna add our sauce. We're gonna cook our sauce thoroughly. It's gonna take about 10 minutes. All we want is all the flavors integrate together. We're gonna taste it for seasoning. And at this point, I'm gonna add a little bit of the chicken bouillon just to enhance the flavor. Make sure you taste it and season to your preference. Once our sauce is boiling, we're gonna add our shredded chicken to it. We're gonna make sure we mix the chicken real well so it absorbs all that sauce. You can't imagine how good it smells right now. After a few minutes, you're gonna see that our tinga is ready to go. Now that we have our tinga ready, in this case, I'm gonna prepare myself a tostada. I'm gonna add some sour cream and then our tinga on top of it. Then you can put any other toppings like lettuce or avocado. So our tinga tostada is ready. I added some avocado to it. And tinga is so versatile, you can use it for tacos, you can put it in quesadillas, you can do flautas, you can eat it on its own. Uh, this is a great dish, so let's try it. Mmm. Super flavorful. It's just perfect. Give this recipe a try and we'll see you next time.